Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to quickly discuss the design thinking process. Yes, it has got five steps and we are going to go with each of the steps with excellent explanation and this is a very interesting one. Let's get into it. First step is empathizing. Yes, I need to empathize. I need to understand what the user needs. That's fundamentally is referred as empathy. Then I need to define. I need to frame the problem very clearly. Then we have to go into the ideation. We need to generate a wide range of solutions. And that's what is design thinking all about. Show empathy, define, ideate. And then you will come to the prototyping stage where you may get tangible models or mockups of ideas. You will show that this can work. And finally, you will have to test it and get things ready. So empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and test. It's time for us to go and understand each of this in detail. It starts with empathy, goes with definition, ideation starts then, then we will prototype, and finally, we will test. Let's get into empathy first. Understanding the user's needs and experience is the paramount thing in design thinking. Yes, the empathize phase is all about you understanding and you paying attention to people. You need to understand what your customer needs. What are you designing for? You are actually designing something for the customer to use. And what is that the customer needs? You need to understand their needs. You need to understand the pain points, the user desires, all this. It requires actually you to step in into the user's shoe and understand the problem from their perspective. If you do this nice, you have almost solved the problem. You can do interviews, you can talk directly with the users to understand their experiences, challenges, expectations, and you can also observe. You can closely watch how users interact with similar products that you are thinking about. And you can go ahead with immersive experience as well. You put yourself into the situation. You can spend a day probably in the hospital to understand what are the patient frustrations, right? So that way you'll be able to even feel better. So you can go ahead with the interviews or observations or immersion. You can choose any of this based on the product that you wish to build. And why is it important? Without you showing empathy, you actually risk creating solutions based on assumptions. You are creating something based on your own thought process. That is not correct. You should not think about yourself when you are building a product. You should think about the customer and for that, you need to empathize very strongly. It will also avoid you from a risky solution first mentality. You will go ahead and ensure that you are providing solution that's going to be more useful, more friendly, and more appealing for the user. Do you remember the GE's MRI story? They made an MRI engine very easy to access and very approachable for the children. Earlier, MRI engines were very scary. So they made the pirate story out of it, and every every kid who is getting into it will be dressed as a pirate and it's a pirate theme then the kids did not have any problem in getting through the MRI process. So it is a superb innovation and design thinking is at its best there. Now, again step, define, framing the problem correctly. After you show proper empathy, after empathizing with the users, the next step is to clearly define the problem. This involves synthesizing the information gathered during the empathy phase. You must have gone in into a lot of analysis. You must have gone in into surveys, you must have gone in into multiple things and all those would have, would have given you a clear picture about what is the problem statement. Then you need to frame the problem statement very nicely in a human-centered way. You have to write the clear statement describing the challenge from the user's perspective. Don't complicate it. It should start with how might we. Please understand, it should start with how might we to foster a open-ended approach. For an example, how can we increase sales of our product? It's a question that we have in our mind. It has to be reframed. How can we make it easier for customers to discover and purchase the products they love? This actually has shifted the focus from company goals to user needs and indirectly, for sure, the company goals will be met. First step is ideation. Ideation is generating wide range of solutions. This phase is all about generating as many ideas as possible without any prior judgment or constraints. It's a brainstorming session where creativity should play a major role. You should look for a wide range of potential solutions from your teammates and it should be open discussion. 
quantity is more important than quality at this stage please understand quantity for the first time is more important than quality at this stage wild ideas are definitely encouraged and this is about ideation for you brainstorming is the best way that you can go ahead with doing it you can gather a team and generate as many ideas as possible mind mapping is another thing that you can go ahead with you can visualize connection between different ideas very clearly with proper mind mapping scamper one of the most important techniques that we can follow for innovation substitute combine adapt modify put to another use eliminate or reverse scamper i have taught already in a separate video i can give you the link of that in the description section go ahead and look into it you have to think you have to ideate nicely when netflix was ideating solutions for dvd rentals instead of thinking about how do we improve their dvd by mail service they asked how can we make movie watching more convenient for user and that one question has changed the industry that one question has taken netflix to the top this led them to the idea of streaming which has revolutionized the industry that you and i are using every day fourth step is prototyping you have to create tangible models or mock ups we call it even proof of concept or advanced proof of concept in the prototype phase you will turn your ideas into low cost models so that they can be tested they can be understood that if they can work well so a prototype can be anything from a physical product or a storyboard or a digital mock up the goal is to make us understand that yes this will work and you can take up feedback from the users after showing that so that's what prototype is all about you can use sketches you can use 3d models wireframes are even preferred role playing is also okay based on the solutions that you are building so it's up to you based on solution that you are building your prototypes can be done with any of this tech and what is it important prototypes allow you to test your ideas early and your customer can visualize what you are trying to do and most importantly you can understand what works and what doesn't work so that way you can go for further iterations as it were apple i'm a great fan of apple as we are seeing i have been showing you a lot of examples with respect to apple the team behind put the ipod used prototypes extensively before launching the product they built physical models multiple times they tested it interacted with the users they gave it for user testing and early feedback was taken in a tremendous manner so it helped to refine the product and there is where they were so successful and it's apple again the next phase is testing where we need to test and you need to iterate based on the user feedback the test phase involves putting your prototypes in front of the users and get their feedback testing is an opportunity yes it is you can learn more about your users and their perspective and you will also get to know how they interact with your product please observe users of this phase ask relevant questions and you need to refine the solution based on their feedback so you can go ahead with user testing or you can go with alpha beta testing or you can go ahead with surveys and feedback as well based on the product that you are building choose the appropriate method and dropbox this example in this case they initially tested its idea with a video prototype and then they have shown a short video explaining how dropbox would work even though the product was not yet completely built this was overwhelmingly positive for the users and then rest is history so testing is super important and presenting it to the customer is definitely very important now it's activity time i'm going to give you some questions and i want you to try them how will you solve these problems with design thinking in picture healthcare the hospital wants to reduce waiting times by increasing the number of doctors the first problem statement is this how do you use design thinking here e-commerce the company notices a high cart abandonment rate and wants to offer more discounts to retain customer how will you solve this transportation the city faces traffic congestion and proposes building more roads to solve the problem education the school notices a decline in student engagement and wants to increase testing to track performance i'll show you how i will solve it but you try solving it and give you a feedback in the chat i'll be very happy to read it through with that i close the session and i'll come back to you in the next session where i can show you how my design thinking approach should be to solve these problems thank you